2024 Porsche 718 Spider RS First Look Review, The Pinnacle of Porsche 718 The combustion engine is systematically being culled, and in some scenarios, it seems more tragic than ever. The current Cayman and Boxster ranges represent the last combustion engine versions since Porsche has confirmed that future 718s will be all electric, and many a gearhead will be mourning the loss extensively. And so, we've been waiting with bated breath for the arrival of the Porsche 718 Spyder RS as a fitting tribute, singing the song of a naturally aspirated flat 6 engine once last time, and it has finally arrived. Powered by the high-revving naturally aspirated 6-cylinder boxer engine from the 911 GT3, the 718 Spyder RS harnesses 493 horsepower to sprint to 60 miles per hour in just 3.2 seconds. Drop top thrills just got a whole new meaning. When is the 2024 Porsche 718 Spider RS coming out? The release date for the Porsche 718 RS Spider is set for spring 2024, when it will arrive in dealerships in the USA. A public premiere is scheduled for June 2023, however, as an apt celebration of the 75 years of Porsche sports cars. 2024 Porsche 718 Spider RS Price and Competition The automaker has set the starting price of the 2024 Porsche 718 RS Spider at $160,700, excluding the delivery and processing fees of $1,450. This is quite a bit higher than we'd originally speculated, but given everything this car represents and embodies, buyers aren't likely to regret spending it. Buyers also get exclusive access to a handcrafted chronograph by Porsche Design, which matches the car's configuration with a titanium case, carbon fiber dial, and a strap made of the leather found inside the Spider RS. The rotor on the back will mirror the wheel design on your new 718 Spider RS drop top. There aren't many direct rivals for this car as there is no equivalent BMW Z4 or Audi TT Roadster that can hope to keep up with the 718 Spyder RS. For less money, though, one has to consider the excellent Chevy Corvette Z06 convertible. It's a much larger car, so probably won't feel quite as agile as the Porsche, but that V8 is something special. New Porsche 718 Spyder RS Exterior and Colors As is expected of an RS model, the 718 Spider RS wears a much more striking outfit than the standard Boxster models, and the customary bits and bobs that indicate the performance-minded focus are all in place. The fabric manual folding roof is a given, and while there's no giant rear wing on this model, there is an elegant ducktail spoiler that is a little bigger and shapelier than the one on the regular 718 Spider. Whereas the 718 Cayman GT for RS has a much more prominent front spoiler lip necessary for aero balance in relation to that gigantic rear wing, the 718 Spider RS has a shorter lip up front. The fabric soft top is something special. It comes with a sunshield and a weather protector, and both parts are completely removable to stow away. The single layer soft top can be used with just the sunshield, if you want, but the weather protector will ensure rain and other adverse weather remains outside. Most importantly, the soft top is lightweight, weighing in at just a little over 40 pounds, a saving of more than 16 pounds over the base 718 Spyder. Putting the top up doesn't require two pairs of hands, and with a bit of practice, can be done in just a few minutes. Other exterior details about the Spider RS include the lightweight CFRP hood, which boasts the two Narca ducts we saw in early pictures. There is a wide inlet above the front bumper that helps to direct airflow. Along the outer edges of the bumper, there are side blades to aid in downforce, and the air intakes ahead of the rear wheels, and those mounted atop the arches on the haunches of the Spider RS, identify the car's RS persona. These last-mentioned intakes sit near the driver and passenger's head and create a wonderful induction noise, according to Porsche. But more than just the musicality, these feed air to the engine. As expected, the Waysack package is available for the Spider RS, and it will equip specific, lightweight forged magnesium wheels when equipped. This package also upgrades the standard stainless steel exhaust system with a titanium system. 
As the aim is weight reduction, the Waysack pack also adds an exposed carbon fiber hood, carbon fiber air scoops along the sides, and a gurney flap on the rear spoiler made of the lightweight material. As for the Porsche 718 Spyder RS's exterior colors, buyers can choose from four standard colors and three metallics. The palette includes a new hue called vanadium gray metallic, as well as the special colors Arctic Gray, Sharp Blue, and Ruby Star Nero. Porsche 718 Spyder RS Dimensions Official dimensions for the Porsche 718 Spyder RS are too different from the standard variant, but it is slightly shorter in length, a smidge wider, and it sits lower to the ground. Core measurements for the Spyder RS are length of 174 inches, a width with mirrors folded of 71.8 inches, and a height of 49.3 inches. The wheelbase comes in at 97.7 inches. The regular 718 Spider has a curb weight of 3,273 pounds with the PDK transmission, and Porsche notes that the new 718 Spider RS convertible weighs 59 pounds less, curb weight comes in at 3,214 pounds, although it could drop as low as 3,090 odd pounds in its lightest specification, according to the automaker. Porsche 718 Spider RS engine and performance. In the 2024 Porsche 718 Spyder RS, the engine isn't just crucial for its motivational power or as a swan song to the ICE 718 lineup. For enthusiasts, the oral thrill of an RS-spiced Porsche is just as vital, and this one will be even sweeter. The 718 Spyder RS shares its engine with its GT4 RS sibling, and the naturally aspirated mid-mounted 4.0-liter flat 6 isn't unfamiliar. It's also been used in the 911 GT3 and is as beloved for its raw as it is for that 9000 RPM redline. Outputs are 493 horsepower and 331 pound-foot, the latter peaking at 6250 RPM. It's this setup that allows the GT4 RS to hit 60 miles per hour in just 3.2 seconds. As in the raucous RS Coupe, the Spider RS will have a 7-speed PDK, which we love for its split-second downshifts when needed. Sending power to the rear wheels, the setup allows the 718 Spider RS to make the 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint in the same time as the GT4 RS without any penalties for lobbing off the roof. Top speed is 191 miles per hour. Don't let its leisurely drop-top designation fool you, though, there's a reason Porsche has spent hours at the green help affecting the RS Spider. It's tipped to be as thrilling to drive as the GT4 RS, with the added benefit of its GT designation, it comes with standard Porsche active suspension management with sport calibration and Porsche torque vectoring with a mechanical rear limited slip differential. Sharper steering and agile handling were the brief for the Spider RS, but spring and damper rates more in line with a relaxed drive give the spicy 718 Spider a more traditional convertible-like feel. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.